Right, we've got a Data E Star Wars board to test out here, so let's power up the machine and see what we get. Oh, you're getting a coil firing. Yeah, I won't be able to power that up. I'll have to take the fuses out. Right, we'll try again with the solenoids disconnected so we don't destroy my machine. May the force be with you. And we get the open the door message, meaning the RAM needs to be initialized as there's no batteries. I'm just doing that now. Doors open. Nothing's happened. All three lights are stuck on. So yeah, it seems like the game is unable to initialize the RAM. Right, so it's on the test bench, and a quick check with the test ROM, and there's nothing happening at all. Um, normally when we see this sort of thing, my, my quick stand in the dark guess will be that one of the PIAs has got um, a short on the data bus side, and that tends to basically stop the entire system from running. I've seen this one a few times, but it could be something else. We'll, we'll have to obviously go through and check everything systematically until we find the problem. Now one thing I've found while I'm probing the CPU is that if I poke really hard on certain pins, the signal actually changes, so I think the socket might be a little intermittent. So I'm going to pull this out, put a new socket on, at least we've got a good solid ground to work from then. Now it's really nice to see that this board is in exceptional condition, it's actually really clean, no corrosion at all. Got a couple of little solder repairs I can see previously, but it's uh, really good. So the CPU socket came out really nice and cleanly, just going to give it a bit of clean with some PCV cleaner. And put a new socket in, and that should be absolutely perfect. And that's the socket replaced, and here's just a quick macro shot to show the quality of the soldering. All nice clean solder joints, no residue. Right, so with the old socket we were getting a lot of start-stop activity with the CPU and weren't able to reliably test it. Now that we've got nice good contacts with this turn pin socket, we've been tested again, and we've got D7 is stuck low. Um, and it's actually on the CPU side, funny enough, not the uh, the bus side with the PIAs. Normally it's one of the PIAs that shorts internally uh, and then drags down that data line for all PIAs. So I was actually wrong on my, my guess. It's I think it's actually I think the CPU is actually dead, or at least the CPU is dead. So the first thing we need to do is obviously replace that and see if we improve the situation. And a new 6808, new socket, and the board is now running. Now we do know we've got another problem as when the Board was in my machine it was actually firing coil immediately so we need to look at that probably uh, could be a shorter transistor or it could be the PIA or logic truck feeding that so we'll, we'll check all that out now right so we've just got a shorted tip 122 transistor to relate over here that's pretty simple to do so we'll do that now uh, and one thing I just spotted when I was having a closer look is look at this transistor here I'm gonna have to replace that that's the right bodge Looks like someone's basically cut off the legs of the old one and then tried to solder this new one on top of the legs rather than desoldering it properly and putting it through. So we'll tear that off and put a new transistor on. These are only a few pence, so worth doing to make it proper. Right, so I've just desoldered that transistor we were talking about. Now there's another messy one here, so let's just clean that up as well. Get those legs a bit shorter, clean that solder up, a bit too much solder on there, and there, get rid of the flux as well. So that uh, transistor I was just talking about cleaning up a minute ago, where the legs were a bit dodgy, uh, it's actually facing the opposite way to the rest of them, so that's obviously a different model of transistor. Just to be safe, let's pull that out and put a 3904 in, the same as all the others. That just looks a little bit dodgy to me, that. Right, so it's a C337. Now, I don't know if that's an equivalent or not, but just for the sake of a few pence, let's put a proper 3904 in there. Yeah, so these transistor outputs where we've just replaced the two transistors, they're all looking good. So yeah, I'll just check the transistor over here. Okay, looks like we're all fixed. Well, at least enough to go and put it back in the game now. Okay, so that's the board back in my Star Wars machine. Now a customer also asked for the 20th anniversary software upgrade, so I've burnt the ROM for that, and that's installed. And now let's fire it up and see what happens. May the force be with you. Open the door, there's no batteries in, so we need to initialise it. And there you go. That's the game initialised and ready to go. That's a good sign. I think the best thing now to do is basically step through the self-test modes and make sure that everything's working as expected. So let's put it into self-test. Let's quick DMD test. I mean, that, I assume that's working fine. I've since seen the graphics on it are fine. Yep. 
So bar motor, that's working fine. Hard to see what I'm pressing here. Switches are fine. Trough switches are active, that's all fine. All lamps. Looking good on the flasher front. I think that's all of them flashing. No, that's not, no, no, that's all flashing. Yep, that looks good too. Okay, so one thing I noticed was 4L works, but 4R doesn't. That's got to be a cabinet wiring problem because if 4L's working and 4R isn't, they say they share the same transistor, so it's got to be the cab itself or the flashes even. Although I think I've got LEDs in most of these, but anyway, I need to check that out. But it's sure it's a cab problem for mine, but I need to just double check. Right, so on the last test you might have seen that the number 4 flash did not work and that's because there was actually a broken wire under the playfield so we can now retest this So that's now everything tested working And the last bit is the most fun bit which is giving it a good play test So you see we're doing alright at the moment No, I lost that one 